a rupture close to the kidneys. Our research is about the abdominal aortic aneurysm, which is a symptom where the um, aorta, which is the major artery that takes blood from the heart to the rest of the body, it swells up. And the problem with this uh, disease is that it's asymptomatic, meaning the patient doesn't feel anything until it's too late. What we have found is that a protein that uh, is downregulated or it's decreased in the disease, we have determined that this reduction in the protein, called TIM3, is sufficient to work as a driving force to promote the disease. Another thing we have found is that if you identify the abdominal aneurysm in early stages where the swelling is still small, uh, you will be able, you should be able to control this um, uh, degradation of the aortic wall so that it doesn't expand to the, to the situation where it can, ex it can rupture. And that's the problem with most of the patients because when the uh, aneurysm swelling is small, they, are, they don't qualify for surgery. So they have to basically sit and wait until their swelling enlarges enough to the level that a surgeon see um, the, they, there is a need for them to intervene and um, do this, perform surgery on them to control the aneurysm. But what we are showing is that maybe if you uh, put the TIM3 back into the body, you introduce it locally or systemically, you'll be able to control the expansion of the aneurysm.